Mysteries. And today I'm here to show you the works of Mr. Ben Blau. Now, as many of you have seen, I've kind of been a weird part of magic history, I guess, the last four or five years, sitting through, you know, being at all the Penguin Live lectures, meet, meeting and making some amazing friends, and seeing some of the coolest tricks that have probably been developed over the last couple decades. And above, so we even had some older people in there as well. So, all of this being said, it gives me one. It gives me even more pleasure than a lot of those moments in magic history to introduce my friend Ben Blau's work to the world. And for those of you who have not seen this actually unpackaged, other than just in photos, this is a beautiful book signed by the man himself. And with an intro by, with quotes from Daniel Fishman, Mark Salem, Bruce Bernstein, Mark Elsden, John Carey, um, <laughs> you know, just so much, so, so much material. It's absolutely insane. His foreword is written, his foreword in here is even written by Max Maven. Which, who gets a foreword written by Max Maven anymore, really? It's incredible. It's, it's, it's a book put together with so much love between Mr. Thomas Baxter and Ben Blau. This is a fantastic volume of work. So what are you getting in here? You're getting roughly... I don't have an exact count. Let me, let me have a look here real quick. I'll show you the table of contents. Um, you're getting well into... Well, just you're getting probably just under 15 routines as well as what looks like close to 15 utilities as well in here and uh, let me just say that Ben's work is absolutely phenomenal to the extent that a lot of it is really not knuckle busting sleight of hand for the most part it's it's your traditional sleight of hand fused in with these self-working principles techniques psychology for those of you who haven't seen Ben perform he has this kind of you know, avant-grade interest in pop psychology kind of presentation he puts on everything, and it's fantastic. Ben is really a master in today's world of card of card mentalism. There's honestly Ben is a lot more than just card mentalism, and there's things that separate itself out. Like everything, for the most part, is involved with cards in here, but there's also the best ESP routine I have ever seen. Um, sorry, Ben. I love your new one. It's great. He has a Ben has an amazing matchup routine right now. That's uh, let's just say it's being taken, taken up by some very big names in the community. Uh, but Ypsilon in here by far is the best ESP card routine I've ever seen. And uh, sorry to sorry Michael as well. I use I actually use Ypsilon. Then I do Tattletailed. So Tattletailed is in a close tied first for that position. But what what is what makes so special is it's a three or four phase routine that builds, it's all self-working, can be done completely hands-off, just like a lot of material in this here book. You've got your you've got hands-off any card ending numbers where there's surprise endings. You have um, people being able to find their own cards. You have two you have coincidence effects. You have every range of card mental effect you could ever possibly want in this book and they're all uh, light years ahead of what most people are doing out there. I'd say, I, honestly, what ben, used to, our, our ben and I's kind of friendship started off because I'd heard about him from George Tate, Patrick Redford. I emailed him, messaged him on Facebook and started chatting with him and he started, we started exchanging videos. He was more prominent in the video exchange than I, than I was. Now I'm starting to give him back to him because he's inspired me so much. Uh, which makes this quote, Ben, that you put in your book, uh, you inspire me. It's complete horse crap, man. You inspire me. Um, it's just, you'd watch, I sit, remember sitting and watching the videos, and they were kind of through the screen performances sometimes, or, you know, you had to have, you know, someone fill in to take a card or whatever, and he'd just do the part himself. But there were effects that fooled me almost 90% of the time. And I'm not bragging on myself of being clever or witty or anything, but I've seen a lot of stuff. You know, I get a dose of this, I get a dose of magic non-stop every day of my life, and I'm constantly trying to create new stuff and read new things. This is very fresh, very golden and great, and the, why it's fresh is not because it's, oh, it's a new method, it's a cycle, no, 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 no. What's so golden about this, Ben has taken sort of the works, uh, so works that are already her heralded in card and card mental and magic, 
and magic in general, and he's applied them in such a way that it's completely different. So they're older kind of ideas that have been retweaked to work for today and go beyond what they could have even met openly imagined they would be at the very beginning of their conception by their creator probably back in the 40s or above that. That being said, you gotta get this book. It's $90 well spent. Is it expensive? Is it expensive? Yeah, but do you really think that Ben's making a cash cow off of something this beautifully produced? No, I mean look at it. I'll take the dust jacket off because this is how I usually have it because I don't want to damage this dust jacket. Even outside of its dust jacket, it's just a piece of art. This has got to be a high production cost item, so really more than anything, this is definitely a labor of love. Uh, this is not your standard magic get rich quick scheme of let's put out a method that's kind of eh, and then we'll see what happens. Everything in here is solid. Is everything in here something I would use? No, because I, I don't rely typically on a, very much, a lot of stack deck work and things like that. And there are a few things that in there, but not a lot, a lot. There's so many effects in here that I, I can't even begin to go on about how amazing it is. Quicksand is great. Uh, Epsilon, though I mentioned here, the... ESP and look at the layout of the book as well. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Concentration. Inshin Dinshin, you all will love. It's a great impossible impromptu card revelation. Um, I don't even know if it's called a revelation, it's just you just have to see it. It's great. There's a performance video up, just go watch it. Everything in here is phenomenal. Everything. And I know that I read a lot of books. But this book took me a solid week or two to get through at, um, what's it? I mean, it's, it's a four, it's just under, uh, 350 pages, but I can usually inhale a book like that in about a week, but this took me two because it was just so amazing and intricate, and I found myself getting decks of cards out and working along with it as I'm reading the book. The instructions are crystal clear, and if you have any questions, of course, you can always ask Ben, because Ben's just such a nice guy. Um, I feel great giving this one of my highest recommendations. Probably the best. This and uh, oh lord, it's just it's it's hard to it's hard to call what better card. There's no better card pencils in book I've ever read. I'd say Applesauce by uh, by Patrick Redford slash George Tate definitely is a is my other favorite kind of card mentalism book on my shelf. You got to pick this up. It's phenomenal. You won't regret it, and you'll thank me later. So thank you all for watching, and I really hope you go check out um, Asymptotes before it's all gone, because God forbid you miss out on it. Thank you all again. Jacob signing out.